Hello Amiga Coders, um, it's time again for another tutorial. I'm Photon of Scoopex and we're going to learn how to blit stuff. We're going to use the one of the custom chips in the Amiga called the Blitter, which um, is housed inside the Agnes chip, uh, which is not to say that the Agnes chip is the Blitter. Uh, the Agnes con chip contains, uh, among other things, uh, all the logic required to shuffle all the DMA in the computer to various uh, to various chips. But uh, what better chip than to house a blitter inside, which can uh, take priority over the CPU? Uh, how do we um, use the blitter to do something interesting? Well, let's check where we were. We had uh, filled our one bit plane screen buffer below the logo with um, iterated numeric values from zero upwards. This generated a pattern with the CPU. Now we have something in our bit plane, that's the important thing. Um, what if we wanted to um, clear the screen with a blitter? After all, the blitter is uh, very much faster than the 68000 processor. When you're nearing uh, 68,030 speeds, that's no longer the case, and then you might want to look at various um, CPU routines to clear the screen. How do we go about this? Well, we know that we have some buffer pointers somewhere. We had put our little um, loop that fills the screen in the init routine here. I'm going to put a bookmark. Um, again, the goal of this series is to, at the end, uh, produce a, a um, completed demo, complete with music and some sort of uh, some sort of eff effect. Maybe it'll be a scroller. Who knows? So anyway, uh, here's our screen, aptly named, and uh, uh, we fill it with increasing numeric values. After this, I'm going to show you how to clear a portion of the screen and how to think about uh, blitter sizes and modulos. This, these values are what forms a sort of a rectangle in memory. Uh, which uh, suits your screen format. So, let's see this here now. How does this work? How do you tell the blitter to do anything? Well, the first, well, the last thing you do is you write a blitter size, a blitter window size, and this is done by, like all other things, you poke a register in the custom chip area, uh, and the address is um, hex 58, register hex 58, also called BLT size, where BLT size, well, where BLT stands for blitter and not bacon, lettuce, tomato. We don't really know yet what the size of the rectangle that we should blit should be but we can calculate it. So if you comment that out, let's say that we want to clear a rectangle that is about 50 pixels high perhaps, and um, let's take um, a nice and even, evenly divisible by 60 number because the blitter operates in words only. Um, and let's make that with uh, 224. So what you write into the blitter size register is the width times 64 plus, I'm sorry, the height times 64 plus the width in words. So let's call them something better. Let's type them in the correct position. 
And let's set, set them to something. The blitter height we already decided would be 50. If we wanted to clear more than one bit plane and the bit planes were interleaved, we could have multiplied this by the number of bit planes that we wanted to clear, but we only have one bit plane. The width in words is 204 divided by 16. So about the blitter height and the blitter width, uh, these occupy uh, six, bit, six bits each. I'm, I'm sorry, they occupy 10 bits and six bits respectively, where the width can be from zero to 63, where zero means 64 words. So you type the actual number of words here, and if it exceeds 63 words, and then you have one last chance, and that is to set it to an even 64 words. For anything wider than that, you need to access the ECS and AGA extra registers for this blit blitter size. And the, the, the height can be 1000, maximum 1024 pixels high. And um, likewise, if you exceed 1023 in height, then it wraps around to zero. So that zero means a height of 1024 pixels. Uh, we're no danger of hitting these limits with these values, so we're happy, happy with this going to put a little division here. And so that's the last thing you do. What do we need to do before this? Well, we need to point the destination to the screen, right? Because the blitter has three source registers, source pointers, to anywhere in chipmem and one destination pointer, which must also be in chipnam, of course. And that is because we're doing this with a custom chip and not the CPU. Only the CPU can access all the memory in the, in the Amiga. So the destination register is uh, quite close to this register in the custom chip, custom chip m register map. We're going to put something into this register here, and if we put screen here, then uh, the blit will be aligned to the top left corner of the screen buffer. We would like to specify a X and Y position perhaps, so let's do that. We need to find some way of adding to this address to center um, the blit in the middle of the buffer. So we're going to call this blitter x, uh, and we need to calculate what 320, the width uh, of the screen buffer, minus 224 divided by 2 is. Uh, and the blitter y is nominal, well you can put anything here, why not put 48 there, no, that's confusing. We'll just set a y value right there. Now we need to know what the byte width is of the bit of, of each line in the bit plane. And we don't quite know that. We know that it's the width divided by 8 anyway. Everything is specified in bytes. So let's calculate that. Let's do it in steps. Uh, and the offset is this value times width divided by 8. We set this constant at the top of the source. And we need to add the x position, which is currently in pixels, also divided by 8. So that's the offset. And we simply add that to the address. Now, what else do we need to do? Well, we need to tell the blitter what operation to perform. And some other things, we'll get to, get to those. Uh, but we'll take it in the simplest steps. Um, so the way to do that is to write the blitter control registers. There are two of them, two word registers. 
and they're here chip memory um, custom chip register map and um, it consists of a high word and a low word which looks something like I'm going to write some strange form of hexadecimal notation here um, and explain what the symbols mean this is uh, what the two words look like these are eight nibbles and you can map them to the operations you want to perform it enables different things in the blitter chip for example this is the a shift value from 0 to 15 this is the b source shift from 0 to 15 and we know we don't want to shift anything right now so we can set them to 0 this M is sort of a, a uh, source mask for bits that tell you which of each of the three dis three sources and one destination should be enabled for this blitter operation. And in our case, only the, the destination should be enabled. And these eight bits are the logical combination descriptor. Um, the eight bits tell uh, the blitter uh, in each of the eight possible combinations in each of the eight combinations possible with three sources what the destination bit should be uh, so in our case we want all the operations to result in a zero so we type it like this and this then is a a valid blitter set of blitter control words but this is not enough. Hang on. Uh, we called this something else, didn't we? Just so we don't get any assembly errors. So, and this has bugged me for a time. Um, all right. So what else do we need to do? Well, um, we've defined uh, the memory window size, where it starts in memory and how to combine the bits and produce some sort of output to it in the blitter control word words um, but this is not enough uh, if we if we run this then we'll use whatever so-called modulo value set by some previous blit that we have no idea what it was unless we uh, blitted it ourselves so the operating system has made some last blit before us and has left the modulo value at at some random value that means that the modulo the skipping between rows in the uh, blitter rectangle here uh, could be zero resulting in a in a not a rectangle at all but just a, a stream of words one after another or it could be 32,000 causing our blit to go overwrite some uh, some other chip memory so we need to set that and that's how it, we only need to set the destination modulo and that that you do that by writing to this register bltd mod and what should the value be well we can calculate that we know that we want to um, that this is the word width of the um, operation and we want to skip make it skip to the same horizontal position blur x on the next line on the screen on the next row in memory or row in our defined in our blitter window that we're setting up now so i don't want to call this blitter mod blt mod or anything uh, to conflict with constants uh, that are named the same way. Let's call it skip and let's calculate it. We know that and this value is in bytes. It's how many bytes in memory it should skip. So this should always be an even value and and um, any uh, uh, any odd value will be uh, rounded downwards to an even value. 
Uh, so we know that we want to basically take the, we could do it two ways, we could take the difference in widths and divide it by 8 or s do it some other way. I guess this is the simplest. And I made a typo already. Wow. Um, okay, so this is the blitter skip and it should skip um, something like 14, 14 bytes, maybe, no? Something like that. Uh, we'll notice if the module is wrong, then our uh, blit will be uh, skewed. So each source and destination have their own modulos, so it's very, it's very dynamic. You can have, you can combine a uh, a uh, one bit plane mask with a three bit plane bob, and blit it onto a five bit plane screen if you should like so that all the sources and the destination have different modulos. But this is not enough. We have, we need to set up the blitter uh, in two steps. One thing that you need to do only once at the start of your demo is to enable blitter DMA because after all, uh, even though the operating system likely has it turned on, it could have been turned off by some other process or Maybe if you're making a uh, demo that's loaded by a, tr a track loader, it's uh, cleared the blitter DMA for some reason. So the way to do that is to set bit 6 in DMACon. You know the register that controls the blitter, sprite, copper, etc. DMA channels. And you only need to, to do this once. Th another thing that you need to do, always, is to wait for the blitter to finish its last blit before attempting to overwrite the blitter registers, as we are doing down here. And you do that with a blit wait, uh, a blitter wait, and this is what it looks like. This is an extra test instruction for compatibility and then we need to busy wait for a flag I'm gonna type it like this this is bit 14 also in DMACon And as long as it's set to 1, we continue waiting, and when it's cleared, we know that the blitter has finished its previous job is and is ready to receive instructions again. So this is basically it. Let's try it. Anything can happen, but we've succeeded. So that's your first blit. If you want, you could uh, change all the result bits of all possible combinations of the three sources to one and get a filled rectangle instead. So you've just achieved your first bit on the Amiga. In the next tutorial, we'll take it further. See you then.